All right, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. So today's video is going to be on panic buying part two. Now, I know before my channel got shut down or, or turned off, deleted, whatever the fuck it was, um, I said that panic buying wasn't really a thing. It was more um, people just preparing their families, making sure they got ready. Yes, everybody rushed at the same damn time, but nonetheless, it was people getting ready. Now, I'm gonna call this round panic buying. And I'm labeling, I'm labeling the video panic buying part two, obviously because it's going to be another rush. This rush is going to be worse. This is gonna be a lot worse. There's gonna be way less food for people to grab. Like I said in my last video, I'm telling you right now, before you finish this video, stop what you're doing and go get some more shit. Because the panic buying you're gonna see, you do not wanna be in the middle of, guys. You do not wanna be in Target, uh, CVS, uh, Sam's Club, whatever those, uh, BJ's, you don't want to be in the middle of that shit when the hammer drops. You want to be home, watching it on TV as people go at each other. You thought Black Fridays were bad when people were, were, were fist fighting over TVs? What do you think they're going to do for food? It's going to get a lot worse. There's going to be way less food on the shelves, right? There's a food shortage coming. So with that, people are going to be more desperate. Now, I tell people all the time there are things you need to start getting now and the things you need to start preserving now, like canning meats, canning vegetables, canning soups. That stuff is going to prolong what you're going to get at the supermarket today, tomorrow, whenever you decide to go. You need to make sure that you're ready because this panic buying is going to be ugly. It's going to probably, possibly be the ugliest thing we've ever seen. You're definitely gonna see more fighting. We're probably gonna see more shootings. I don't wanna say killings because I don't wanna jinx it, but my inner, uh, my inner self is telling me there might be shootings as well. We saw some skirmishes, some fighting with this panic buying, right? We saw people yelling at each other over toilet paper. So imagine what they're going to do with food or the lack of food, looking for food. Shelves are gonna be bare. You're gonna see no bread on shelves for a long time. There are farmers right now throwing away dozens, of, not even dozens, sorry, millions of pounds of eggs, uh, slaughtering pigs and cows because there's nowhere for the meat to go. So instead of like turning that into a meat market per se and having people come down and pick the shit up and have them pay for it, they slaughtered all this meat. Um, they didn't even think ahead. Sucks to be them because they could have made a lot of money, at least locally. Um, and some people did do that. I know there were some certain farmers that slaughtered meat and either A, gave it away, or B, sold it off to local people who came to the market to uh, pick it up. Same thing went for eggs and milk. Um, but we're going to see way less of that because with the second shutdown, there's going to be way less businesses to sell that stuff off to. So they're going to be sitting on this shit. Now, instead of having Walmart, BJ's, and them grab as much as they can so that they can sell it, a lot of that stuff is going to get spoiled, die on the, on, on the farmer's uh, land, and that's going to suck. That, in turn, is going to lead to more fighting. That's going to lead to more shootings. People are going to get into it each other because they're already in a high-stress situation. You do not need to be in that high-stress situation. That's why we prepare, guys. We prepare ahead of time. And for a lot of you new guys who are starting to prep, prep now. Like I said before, stop the video and go get your shit. Go get what you need and keep buying. Don't stop. Uh, you're going to hear me say that a million times between now and when the, the second wave hits uh, or the second shutdown hits. Sorry. You're going to hear way more of it. So, guys, we are in unprecedented times and the market is undoubtedly going to crash. And when the market crashes, the shit's going to be on. That's the other problem with the panic buying. Now, I say again, go shopping now because when the market tanks, you better believe everyone who's looking at the market drop is going to run out and start buying shit. And you're possibly going to see panic buying that day, the day the market uh, crashes. Uh, when the market crashes, it's not going to be good. It's going to make 1929 look like a fucking hiccup. We have way more people now than we did back in 1929, the first Great Depression. We are, if not mistaken, double the amount of people or a little over double the amount of people and the United States could barely hang on to what they had then and barely supply people then. You're talking about double the capacity of people now here in the United States. They're not going to survive that. 
we're not going to survive that next Great Depression. That Great Depression is going to be brutally bad. And this is why we prepare. And this is why a lot of us need to move out of the city. Now, that bubble could burst two months from now. It could burst six months from now. I do not give it a year. Um, and if they do give it a year, the longer they prolong the collapse. And when I mean pumping money into this, the longer they prolong it, the worse it's going to be. Um, and a lot of financial analysts are nervous, which is a red flag. If they're nervous, that means something bad's coming. And some of them are like, it's going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. It's going to correct itself over a few years, and then we'll be back on track. But how many of us are going to die between the collapse and the correction? And even after the correction starts, you still got another couple of years before you actually start seeing anything good. So prepare now. Make sure your, shit's, your shit is squared away, guys. All right. Also, while you guys are watching this, uh, Prepper Now, he did a, a really good video on uh, the liberals hate history or the left hate history. That was a pretty good video. That video is going to give you an insight of the violence that's going to probably quadruple when the panic buying starts or should I say when the collapse starts. All right, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. Another that, guys, thank you for watching.